That snicked means it just got serious. <laughs> There's only one substance that can withstand my adamantium claws. Mm -hmm. There is a leak running around right now about Black Panther 2. And guess who they're going to introduce into Black Panther 2? Y'all heard it here first. And y'all heard last week the place that I said they could start introducing the X-Men. Take a look. Well, when okay. it comes to Roger Wardell, <laughs> his track record is pretty impeccable. This is the same guy who was nailing stuff about Avengers Endgame over five months in advance, including insane details like Fat Thor and the inclusion of a Hell Hydra cap recreating the elevator scene. Basically, when it comes to Roger Wardell, there's just a little bit more reverence than your normal anonymous leak. So if this is in any way going to ruin your Phase 4 experience and or the introduction of Wolverine via Black Panther 2, then you might want to back out now. Now, when I said this wasn't long in length, I was not kidding. Normally, Roger Wardell packs a ton of information into very short tweets, and I also made mention of this mandatory cooling off period. It was a slight joke in the prologue. It's because he always takes a couple of months off in between tweeting a ton in a row. This one coming after almost 30 days of silence. MCU is a way more dangerous place for Wolverine than you might think. Logan receives his combat nano suit thanks to Shuri and Antarctic Vibranium. Like I said, not long in length, but absolutely packed with detail. And some may choose to focus on the later part of this. There's one word in particular in this entire leak, though, that is much deeper than it may appear. Now, obviously, the inclusion of Logan in upcoming Black Panther would make headlines across all of the normal spots, and I'm assuming by tomorrow it definitely will. But the inclusion of the word Antarctic here opens up in an entire different can of worms, or should I say can of dinosaurs, and via a trusted industry insider, friend of the channel, Mikey Sutton, who has dropped a ton of leaks here real recently about the upcoming inclusion of the X-Men, how they'll be introduced, and via Savage Land, which is located in no other place than you guessed it, Antarctica. Mm -hmm. Remember we talked about the Savage Lands being in Antarctica last week and them dropping the X-Men? Mm-hmm. Larry, I'm giving it to you first. You want to see Wolverine in Black Panther 2? Yeah, that would be good. I, I'd, I'm just curious about what they're still going to do with, uh, with oh, Black God. Panther. Who's going to be the oh. Black Panther? I it's mean... T'Challa is coming back, man. It is not going to be Killmonger. I'm not playing that Killmonger clip no more this whole damn video. So stop it. What are we going to do? We're going to have, so what, we have a Black Panther that has an eating disorder now? No. Stop I mean, it, man. Stop it. He's not a, he, man, he's not a big dude in the first place, man. He's not big at all, man. Golly. All he got to do is eat. All, all the brother got to do is big head little people, little, little you know, people that are super skinny with them big heads and little bodies. See, That's please. what he looks like now. Larry, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. All that brother got to do is eat two ham sandwiches and he's going to be good to go for Black Panther. That's all he got to do. That's it, or, man. Or they can let Killmonger take his rightful place on the throne and then do the movie and let the movie be straight up lit. No, man. No, no. And right no, now, the way people feel to God. bring in a liberator, woo! Oh, man, matter of fact, man. Tell me you would not like to see a liberator on the throne. God, Lord. T Strange, how do you feel about Wolverine and the X Men and mutants being introduced in Black Panther 2? Say, man, I'm, hey, I'm excited. I'm excited about King T'Challa coming back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, Wakanda you know, forever? Uh, Wakanda forever? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about it, man. You know, uh the guys over at Disney and, and and Marvel, man, they really they have been dropping a lot of gems these last couple of weeks. My only qualm with them is that all of us would be two or three years older by the time we get a chance to see them. Now, Stop hopefully, it. <laughs> now hopefully, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm, I'm I'm eager to see how they how they play the new the new Wolverine. Had they ever had they released who's going to be doing Wolverine? Because I know uh, the other guy isn't, isn't doing him any longer. No, they they said Hugh Jackman is talking about coming back. What? Yeah, man. Really. Yeah, well, man. Hey, well, I, I'll put it this way. Then that makes it all the much better because you know you're used to seeing him. And dude plays one hell of a, you know, I I don't give 
two craps about how tall he is, you know, but you know, some 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 hardcore uh uh fans they they yeah, you haven't you haven't seen some of the uh the complaint? No man, Wolverine is not tall anyway. What the yeah, but I, yeah, I've seen some. I, I've seen some some really like complaint complaints that I, why they didn't like Hugh Jackman. They they figured that he was too tall for for Wolverine. But I think I, I think he played it. I think he played a, a really good Wolverine. Oh god! And so if if he comes back, I don't you know if he comes back or if he not, I I don't know. But uh, I am I am eager to to see how how they play it off because both of them. Uh, are big brand names and both of them can can bring in lots of money on their own. So when you put them together in the same movie, you know, uh I'm eager to see how they how they run that and how they play that. Because the way the way they have Wolverine, he he could actually he could actually pull you know pull off as either a, a colleague or an antagonist. You know, he mm -hmm. they can yeah, run. We have a clip to share right quick. You ready? Oh God, here we go. Here we go, man. Lord, Hopefully you can hear it. Oh, man, there's a black Twitter. <laughs> 